Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about how to install a solid bike tire onto a aluminum wheel. So in this case we can see one of the installs is already done. We're just taking some measurements to show the difference from the inflatable tire with a tube to the solid tire that's completely solid. There is no inflatable tube in it. So that's the difference in technology there. This application is for a 20 inch diameter tire the rim is an inch and a half wide the old tire on there was an inch and three quarters wide they'll be uh, sorry for the folks who are metric i did use metric for the caliper measurements though and a metric tape measure if that helps so just pause and look at that a uh, few pros and cons to discuss here the uh, Pro, obviously, of the solid tire, never going to have a flat, never going to have a change, never going to have an inflation. Cons, these are burly, very, very hard to get on. Specific strategies required. Uh, there's less rolling resistance, so they're less efficient, which means they'll take more energy to push or pull, depending on your setup. Uh, additionally, they have less shock absorption than a air-filled tire or tubeless tire. On the pro side, you're never have you're never gonna have to change a flat. Uh, these should last a very long time in this sort of application. So what we did here is boiled hot water straight to boiling. So that's 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we soaked the tire in that boiling water for about two minutes. After that, we very very quickly take the tire uh, and set it on the wheel using gloves because the t the tire is very hot. The other thing is I'm using a rock bar. It is a very big chunk of steel to pry this tire on while my wife helps stand on the rim. The time lapse is a little too fast, so let's look at that again. So after letting this tire soak in boiling hot water for about two minutes, we quickly take it out of that hot water and then place it on the wheel. This wheel is flat on the ground. We have a little bit of an indentation to protect the hub so it's not getting pressed while we step on the wheel. And then we're using a rock bar with a flat chisel blade as a prying tool to pry this wheel on. So we're prying it on, rotating it so that the um, pry bar will fit uh, in between these kitchen, uh, the kitchen island and the kitchen cabinet, and then stepping on the tire to hold it in place. So you need about two humans, uh, maybe more, to do this. Once that's done, you can put it back in the water to kind of set the bead, and then you're ready to go. So that's what we're doing here. We're just setting the bead in the hot water once again so that it's perfectly melded on the aluminum wheel. I'm very surprised I didn't break the aluminum wheel. Uh, I would not try this with a carbon wheel. All right, so we'll put the next one on. Just a little click with the button there. And we'll see how these do. We can see that the suspension on this Thule Chariot is actively engaging. And it looks like this is going to work well. I'm not sure if we're going to do this with the front wheel yet. Uh, we do use this in trailer mode where the front wheel doesn't come into play. We're pulling it on a bike, so that's just fine. Um, other pro to consider with this is this is going to be a lot lighter these this solid rubber wheel or synthetic wheel than the tube and the tire that was there before in any case that's all i got for you today thanks for watching we'll see you around